The library is now closed. Pack up your belongings. Don't leave anything behind and don't make a sound. Um, I'm sorry, I think your clock might be a tiny bit fast. I beg your pardon? Well, we've still got 15 more minutes and my Latin homework isn't quite done yet. Your Latin homework has nothing to do with me. No, but we need uh, to... I was not finished. Now, please leave my library. I'm just saying. The only thing you're doing is annoying me. Okay, sorry, I'll go. She's right, you know. 15 more minutes, you stupid old bag. What? I said we have 15 more minutes. How dare you? I ought to. Ban me from the library? Ring my parents, give me a detention? Oh, what's the point? Look, I know it's your first day on the job, but I'm sure even you can read a clock. Detention. And I will be sending a strongly worded email to your tutor and your parents. How dare you? I just said I don't care. I was not finished. In detention for you too. Get out. You can't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you didn't care. That went well. Sorry, she is surprisingly good at being evil. Might have underestimated that. I had it under control. You know, I would have just left. But now I've got a detention. I know. I know. Well, at least you're not alone. Yes, I've got the expert of detentions to accompany me. How joyous. I've never had a detention before. Yeah, I can tell. There's nothing to be scared of. What do you mean you can tell? Come on, kind of obvious. I mean, nobody with that many books has ever stepped foot in a detention room. And you know, I've seen enough of you scrawling away in the library to realise you actually give a shit about this whole school thing, so... I'm Liam, by the way. Emma. Well, it's been uh, interesting to meet you, Emma. Did you get a coach? Speaking of, it's leaving soon, so. Oh, right, no, I'll, I'll come with. So. My dad is gonna kill me. Ah, just, you know, say some stupid deadbeat ran his mouth and you were just happened to be there. What, so tell him the truth? Oi, just trying to stand up for you. <laughs> anyway, you know, it's your first detention, not the end of the world. My dad doesn't see the difference. What do you mean? I mean what I say. Just uh, get your mum on your side. There's the TV one. I... I only have a mum. What? Yeah, it's a long story. I don't know if I want to talk about it. You can't just leave it there. Let's just, uh, just chat on the couch. Fine. Might as well get to know the guy I'm spending two hours of my weekend with. like something about her, she's not Houdini. Sorry. I just I don't I don't get it. Yeah, well I'm not really to talk about it. Yeah, fair enough, I just uh... She ran away. Two weeks after I was born. I tried to find her like a couple of years back, but she covered her tracks well. Jesus. Did you say run away? Yeah, why? What was she running from? Uh, I don't know nothing. Right, yeah, fair. My dad. He's horrible. I'm glad she escaped. <sighs> Jesus, are you alright? No, he's gonna kill me when he hears about this. Nah, honestly, just, you know, if, if he starts screaming, just think about something else. He doesn't scream much. He gets worse than that. Oh, does he get serious? Oh, jeez. 
Ah, that must be. Right. Sorry. Bad Thursday. Sorry. Not everyone's parents perfect. <laughs> yeah. Back you on that one. How so? Huh? Oh, nah. Don't worry about it. No, go on. No, honestly, it's, it's, it's fine. Come on. No, I, I'm not going to tell you, right? It's fine. Leave it. It's not personal, okay? I just don't want to tell you. Stop stop looking at me like that as well, alright? Nothing's wrong with my pet. I'm fine. No, I, this must stop. I'm, I'm getting off. for a detention. Oh, well, very sorry for standing up for you. I definitely won't do it again. I don't understand why me asking you these simple questions make you so... So what? So hostile. Oh, look, it's fine. All right, you knowing it isn't going to help anything. Wow. I knew you didn't have any motivation, but I didn't realise you didn't have any morals either. Your parents must be so proud. Don't chat about my parents. Why not? You know everything about mine. I know nothing about yours. I know nothing about you. You want to know something about me? Yes. Come with me then. Come on then, before I change my mind. still a bit wet, especially the oils. Yeah, of course. So, so, why am I here? And what is this telling me about your parents? Yeah, yeah, so um, I used to be in a home, had a studio and all. Um, but then, a few years ago, my parents started clashing. Small shit at first, you know, who did the dishes, you know, drove me to school, but... Bigger, louder, soon, no one was doing the dish and they were too busy screaming at each other to drive me anywhere, so I couldn't paint with that in the background and I'd turn this place into my safe house. If I'm honest, I don't go home much anymore. You know, it's the same every time, just anger. I can't complain though, they like, give me money, clothes, food, I'm... Do they, like, speak to you? <laughs> speak? <laughs> nah, nah. Too busy screwing the house down for that. <laughs> Only communication I get is a bank deposit every now and then. Maybe a drunk text from my dad if I'm lucky. Jesus, Lee. So I guess that's why I don't care, you know, about school and all that. Because nobody cares if I do or don't. Other than some shitty teacher that promises me they're going to get me back on track just to abandon me after half term. Like, what the fuck even is the track? You know, where's it go? Or some mind I'm in nine to five in a grey office with grey desk and a grey suit. No, fuck that track! Fuck that line! So, didn't mean to get so wide apart. I don't have an answer for you. Shut 
up. Is that the librarian? <laughs> you mugged her off. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> Do you think her nose is bigger than mine? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Go on, what Where? Storage room. Your car. What now? Uh-huh. I've got work. What work? Spanish. I'm so sorry. It just slipped out of my hands. Mm-hmm. So, come on. Come okay. on. Okay. So, grab a camera, Michelle. Yeah? What? A camera. So, here's my baby. What about Rembrandt? I'm studying him in art. So. I was thinking more like a, a flower or some shit. A flower? Come on, I'm not a child. Oi, what have you got against flowers? I don't know about this Rembrandt guy, but flowers, yeah, they can be whatever the fuck you want them to be. You're feeling happy, sunflower, love, roses. I don't know, just uh, make it up. Fine, flowers is there. Where's the paint? Everywhere. <laughs> oh, please. Hey. test with Mrs. Pritchard. Well, I'll have to bring that up with your tutor. Is there anything else you need to tell me? You're absolutely sure. I really hoped that you were raised better than this. I was beginning to get bored of looking through your school bag, but this is quite a find. That is not mine, I promise. It's far too late for that, Emma. Far too late. Smoking in school. I'm sorry, but it's not my cigarette. Then whose cigarettes ended up in your school bag? Liam, a boy called Liam. torment me, him and his friends. They're, they're jealous or something because I'm smarter than him. So I'm, I mean, they must have all passed me and put it in my school bag or something. I have never talked to the guy in my life, Dad. He hates me. Who exactly is this man? I don't know. He goes to my school, but he doesn't. He 
He's stupid. He's manipulative. He has no motivation. I heard his parents don't even speak to him. I just... I wish he could get expelled. Highly disappointing. I suppose I'll have to sort this. Some seriously boring paintings. I prefer your flower. Oi, what's going on? All right, I, I take back what I said about Rembrandt. I'm sure he was a lovely guy. Why am I getting the silent treatment? I can't talk to you anymore, Liam. Something happened. Something bad. What do you mean? Look, you didn't do anything bad, all right? You just painted a flower. Not we. Me. Can you just leave me alone? Oh, sorry, I'm not leaving anywhere until I know what's going on. What, what bad thing could you possibly have done? I lied through my teeth. Just to save my own skin. My dad found the cigarette butt in my bag. I, I did not put that in there. No, you didn't. I'm not an idiot, but he's not going to believe me when I say that the guy that I met, the stranger who'd been painting in a storage unit. So, so you, you lied? Yeah. What'd you say then? I said you were jealous of me and that you want me to get to your level. And I said that. I wish you got expelled. Nah, nah, you, you, you can't do that. Look, just um, call him, yeah? Let, let, let me chat to the guy, okay? It's too late. It's not too late. Liam! Okay. Headmaster, now! Get your hands off me, man! Emma, what the fuck? After these recent allegations, paired with previous incidents, we now risk expelling you from St. Martha's School. It's weird, though. <laughs> Wouldn't expect a guy like me to get so pissed off about getting his bell. But after this, I've got nothing. A few out of school friends to get trumped with, sure, but this. What the fuck this is? It's on school property, so I can't go back here. Can't sit in the library watching everyone else do their super important work. Can't piss off any more teachers if I'm not allowed in their classroom. You never went to the classrooms, Liam! <laughs> what are you drinking, Liam? My parents are forgetting about me! It used to be that they didn't care about what I did, and I was fine with that. I mean, who wouldn't be? But now, they don't know. They don't know who I am and they don't want to find out I wouldn't! So yeah, I guess I kind of do care about this. Shame it's over for me now. It's over for me too. This school loves you, they would never expel you. No, I'm getting sent away. My dad is sending me to Scotland in two weeks. To this prestige boarding school. Thinks it's not safe for me here anymore. So yeah, my life worked. Just a bit too well. <laughs> Looks like we're bottled then. A week from now, we're gonna be forgotten. Yeah, the fresh start. They can't forget me. They can't forget us. What do you mean, Liam? Just, just think about it. Okay, just use that big brain of yours. All right, this school has screwed us over. The amount of times, okay, that you've advised for a test just for them to tell you that it wasn't good enough. And me, 
<laughs> they took did one round of test scores and they thought, fuck that, just stick him in the library. As long as his parents keep on paying for the science lab, he can stay. School didn't screw us over, we did, Liam. We need revenge. Revenge, Liam, what the fuck do you mean by revenge? Open that bag. What do you Open mean? it. What? That is revenge. I'm not getting involved in one fucking stupid night of chaos. For what? Not ruining my future. Think about it, okay? The library, she never locks the doors. Okay, we run it, yeah? I go to the left, you go to the right. We just spray paint whatever we want, okay? And then, and then, and then you can start filming me, all right? Because I'm going to smash up all the monitors. And then I've got fucking fireworks, no, Emma. No, no, no. I've got fireworks, Emma. I'm, I'm getting... not getting involved, Liam. We're not doing this. This isn't happening. I should have fucking known. You're the same as everyone else. Just... I always knew I was, a, I was a lone wolf, you know? I'm in this by myself till the end. And if you don't want to fucking be here for that, then just fucking go. Fine, so right. I'll fucking go. Because I can't do this when you're like this. Goodbye, yeah, Fuck you do. Choke, that you choke.